put some glue on Senate squares for those of you that need um, a reminder. So in your practice sheet, one of them is about monohybrid crosses. So I've used the first example there or the first um, premise on your practice sheet as an example. So it reads, in humans, dimples are dominant to no dimples. Let's cross a woman with no dimples with a man who is heterozygous for dimples. So let's start finding what is the woman, right? The genotype for the woman and then the genotype for the man before we actually do the crossings. So if the woman has no dimples and we know that dimples are dominant to no dimples, that means that the woman is what? Recessive, you're right. So in recessive, that means that she has to have two lowercase because she has no dimples. Now, that is the woman. Now let's find out what genotype is the man. The man is a heterozygous for dimples. Now heterozygous, if you remember, is the one that is mixed. So we have the uppercase and the lowercase, where the uppercase mask completely and dominates completely, but he is still a carrier for the trait. So that means that the man has to have a dominant allele and a recessive allele, which makes that heterozygous. So he can code for no dimples, but he himself has dimples. Okay, now that I know what the mix or the, the cross is going to look like, now I'm going to set it up. Okay, so I will put one parent on the, on the top of the columns and one on the side for the rows. Now we do what you guys know. We cross multiply. Always put the capital letter first. That way it gives you visually a bigger idea of, I mean, an easier way to identify, right? And then we do the cross multiply for the second one too. Now that I know, I have here that, what are my genotypes? So right now, the only ones that I have for genotypes are the heterozygous and the recessive trait. And if you see, I have two of four that are the same and two of four that are the same. So that means that my, um, that my offspring is going to be 50%, right, uh, in genotype, of 50% DD, as in the heterozygous, and a 50% recessive. Got it? Perfect. Now for the phenotype, remember that phenotype is the physical trait. So that means dimples, or no, I'm sorry, it doesn't work as well in, in this kind of paper, or no dimples. So that means that there's a 50% chance or two out of four or a 50% chance that the baby is going to have dimples and there's a 50% chance that the baby is going to have no dimples. It all depends on the luck of, uh, of the genetic uh, assortment, right? Independent assortment, remember? Okay, so here you have it. That is your review for monohybrid um, crosses.